So Wilson, it looks like it's time for blackberry picking. Yeah, we just started yesterday. So we had our first harvest, uh, took some up to the kitchen for them to use um, this week. And so we'll have blackberries for the next couple of weeks. Okay. So. All right. Well, I'm sure the chef's enjoying that. Can I help you pick a few oh, while we're here? Yes. Yeah. These are the, the Arapaho blackberry. And okay. so they're thornless. So it makes it easy. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah. You feel bad because you're not coming out bleeding like you're in. And so, yeah. Are they see. all Arapaho? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all Arapaho. And so, yeah, it's easy picking. You don't have to battle your way through thorns. And so. All right. Well, let's do it. Now that we've got our harvest from the Southern Hills Garden, it's time to talk with our executive chef here, Jonathan Moose Miller. And Jonathan, I mean, what are you going to do with all this fresh goodies? <laughs> well, this this time of year is always our, is always favorite for us because this is when we really start getting a, a good amount of things from the garden. So the potatoes, you know, are we have potatoes, all different types of potatoes on our menu. Um, I we did these on a wine dinner last week, and mm -hmm. we just simply roasted them with some really nice Sicilian olive oil and fresh herbs. And I mean, just the nice crispness on the outside, and then the really light, fluffy inside with the nice starch level of those potatoes. They were just fantastic. So, chef, obviously, the garden doesn't feed everything that you're providing what do you do with you know these unique items that are coming in so what we did part of our, our struggle or what when we started doing the garden was trying to figure out how we can really showcase these items because uh -huh. we only had just a certain amount of items and, and we serve such a high volume here so it was always that struggle of trying to figure out how to make it fit so this year we started doing a, a weekly special board which is about six to eight items um, that change every week that really focus on what's going on in the garden so we communicate with with Wilson who runs our garden and then we kind of plan those out about a week in advance so we're, we know what's coming in. Okay, so it's not a complete surprise. Obviously, you know what's coming into season and stuff like sure. that. Sure. Um, are you still obviously buying some things though because you never know? We are buying some things and, and you know, even when we plan something out for the week, something might not be quite ready yet yeah. or it might be, you know, the weather might not have cooperated so we might be a day or two behind schedule. So we always kind of have some contingency plans in our pockets but we really always try to focus on as much of those items as possible. But I bet it's really got your creative juices going. It does. <laughs> Absolutely. It's always a challenge when he shows up, you know, it's like feast or famine. Either there's nothing or he shows up and he's got, you know, 50 <laughs> pounds of blackberries that we're trying to do something with. And, and a lot of times, you know, so it's, it's very spur of the moment. Mm -hmm. So it's always, you know, always fun to try to figure out what we're going to do with those at that time. And what's the member response been to this fresh uh, vegetable? Sure. Our members really, really love it. Um, you know, we've tried to get it out in front of the members as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And the more that we're able to, you know, really showcase the items, and that was really the struggle that we're having before is getting them to know about it. So with those weekly specials now, they look forward to it and they're really starting to gravitate towards those items. We're just hoping to see it grow and grow and grow. And every year we kind of make it a little bit bigger. Well, it sounds like a, a communication is a big part of it, not only between you and Wilson, but also the customers that are eating it. And, Absolutely. And with the way you describe those potatoes, I mean, you're a great <laughs> communicator. So thank you so much for joining us, Jeff. Oh, it was my pleasure. Thanks you for having me. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.